Me School. My name is Zala, and welcome to WSES, your local LCS News. Hello, my name is Saxon McHenry, and we hope you enjoy our presentation of our up-to-date, cutting-edge news. And hello, my name is Maya Crawford. Now, let's get ready for Tiger Time. Now, let's see what's happening on the street. Hello, we're at the guard shack with Mr. Andy, our, part of our maintenance staff. So, Mr. Andy, what's this guard shack for? Well, we built this guard shack for the folks to use to stay out of the weather. And everybody comes by and they know where somebody is in the morning if they have to ask questions about traffic or teachers or subbing or anything. We've done this and we've done some other improvements on the campus. We've built quite a few concrete sidewalks. We've built some concrete ramps. All of it for the betterment of the safety and enjoyment of the staff and the students, the people that are visiting, and uh, making everything just safer for everybody involved. Do you know who all built these things? Well, I pretty much designed and built most of this, but all the maintenance staff had to help in this, and especially the concrete sidewalks and everything. It took all of us. We work as a team around here. We get input from the teachers and from the administration. and. Uh, using our background in woodworking and plumbing and concrete, me and Mr. Morgan and Mr. Danny, we can take care of about any project that we need to. Thank you. You're so welcome. Hi, my name is Maya and I'm here with Miss Diane Lute. And she is our drama teacher and a I forgot it, secretary. And so how's, how does it feel to be a secretary? I love being a secretary at South Hill Elementary School. I get to see all of the boys and girls, get to know all of them, and that's really great. Well, how does it feel to be a drama coach? That's exciting. I love being in drama, and I love watching all the kids at SES be in drama. And we would like to come to life on stage and find something that they enjoy doing. Well, what are y'all doing next in drama? Like, what is going to be y'all's theme? Like, are y'all doing something for Christmas? We are doing something for Christmas. We're going to have a radio hour for Christmas. We'll be doing readers, theaters, scripts, and Christmas music. And some of it will be sing-along Christmas music with our audience. Hello, I'm here with Ms. Logan's fourth grade class. Um, so I hear y'all have been doing the phases of the moon. Yes. All right, so Georgia O'Keefe ha had a ladder to the moon, and we actually recreated it in our own way using watercolors and um, some oil pastels. So we just kind of, it kind of goes with it, and you can see that they have the full moon phase and they have a new moon phase. So they actually chose their own moon phase to uh, recreate. Was it just your class that did, that did this, or did other fourth grade classes do this? My Tiger Time and Miss Bird's Tiger Time got together, and we did so it our, just our two classes. Hello, I'm in Mr. Coggins' office with Mr. Coggins. So, Mr. Coggins, I saw some people under tables. Was it an earthquake yesterday? Well, thank you for asking, uh, Saxon. That's a good question. We do have, we did have a uh, earthquake drill, and what we do is, is uh, we will have drills throughout the year. The state and federal authorities say that it's a good idea to always be prepared for an emergency before it ever happens. So we practice those, and so that's what yesterday was. Was it was our earthquake drill, and we do that once a year. Okay. What are some other drills you have here at SES? Well, we actually have a tornado drill, and we'll do that three times this year because of the fact that we live in an area of the country where tornadoes are very, very common. So it's better to have those areas where you practice that a little bit more. We also do something called a code red, which is a lockdown. If we ever have a situation where we have an individual that's on campus that we can't account for, uh, someone who might be here to do something of harm, or just something that doesn't make sense, we'll ask everybody to go into their rooms and lock the doors. And so to make it faster for us to be able to get that information out to teachers, we simply tell them we have a code red drill. Okay. Another drill that we do is, is uh, we'll do a code green. We, uh, we like to use the green and the red. Green means go and red yeah. means stop. Everybody knows that, mm -hmm. so it makes it simple. Code green is just basically like a fire drill. We're having to exit the building. We're having to go down to the playground and gather okay. everybody there. And it's, again, just practice and it's being safe. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you.
Hello, my name is Maya Crawford, and I'm here with Miss Peggy Tubbs. And today, I'm going to ask her a couple questions. So, why did y'all do superheroes? We did superheroes because this is the 75th anniversary of superheroes. And they started way back early, like in the early 1900s. And a lot of people don't realize that. But they are old, old. They're not something new. Superman is not new. He was in 1929. Okay, so what are y'all doing for y'all's next subject? We are doing state parks. And so far, my fifth grade gifted students and my fourth grade gifted students have written over 50 letters to 50 different national park offices asking for information. So we are hoping to get over 50 brochures from 50 different national parks. So we're waiting. Our letters have been sent. And so we're studying national parks because it's their 100th anniversary. Hey, I'm in Ms. Parker's room. What's Ms. Parker? Hey, Saxon, how are you this morning? I'm good. Good. So what fifth grade are you, what's fifth grade doing? We're working on some Van Gogh paintings. As you know, Van Gogh is one of the most famous artists of all time. One of our French artists that actually only sold one painting in his whole lifetime, but he painted over 800 pieces of art. Why did you choose Van Gogh? We love Van Gogh because he is one of the most notable artists, famous for Starry Starry Night and his sunflowers. So everyone pretty much understands about Van Gogh and has seen Van Gogh's work before. But I like his vivid color and his compositions, and I thought y'all would have a good time painting sunflowers in the fall. So is that why you chose sunflowers? That's why I chose sunflowers, because I feel like everyone can do a really good job with all the colors. We can work on foreground, middle ground, background, texture, color, and a lot of our elements of art and design. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, I'm here with Elise McKissick and Mary Mize Knight, some of the, some of the girls in the SES Choir. So I hear y'all are, are having a concert here soon. Where and when will that be? It will be October 20th, which is next Thursday. 1.30. Where will it be? It will be at the Celebration Village. What is Celebration Village? It is like where people, it's kind of like early for where people go and buy their Christmas decorations. It happens in October kind of early. Okay, so um, why are y'all singing at Celebration Village? Is there like a special reason? Um, it's for the hospice house for people who have cancer to help them. Well, since since I hear y'all sing so good, why don't you give me a sample? Okay. Santa, if you get this letter, won't you help me out? I know you're kind of busy with your elves right now, and I don't know how you do the things you do while I sleep on Christmas Eve. That was great. I, I'm so glad y'all got to talk to me today. Have a nice day. Thank you. Hello, I'm in the cafeteria with Miss Rosanna. So, Miss Rosanna, what have you been doing to promote healthy eating lately? Well, we have been doing farm to school, and that means that we've been doing Mississippi grown vegetables and fruits and offering those to the students every day. And then we are also doing National School Lunch Week, and that was founded in 1962 by President John F. Kennedy. That is to promote our school lunches and to show our uh, community, our students, all of our uh, nutritional food and our healthy foods such as whole grains, vegetables, and fruits, fresh fruits and vegetables. Very Whoa. good. That sounds delicious. It is delicious. Hi, I'm here with, Kay with Kaylee Mayo from Miss Weems Room. Kaylee, so I hear y'all have been doing some solar ovens. Um, yes, we actually made them with plastic wrap, aluminum foil, and black paper. So why did y'all do solar ovens? Well, in science we've been talking about solar energy, UVA and UVB rays. Hey, I'm in this amazing hallway with Miss Dye. So Miss Dye, what's this hallway about? Um, this is about our fairy tales, fables, and folk tales unit. Okay, is that about, is that what you're studying? That was what we studied the whole first nine weeks of school. Okay, well, what, what, how does this tie in with your schoolwork? Everything that we read was either a fable, a folk tale, or a fairy tale. We talked about the elements that made each one of those things up, and um, then all of our language and reading skills went with that. Okay.
Well, once again, this hallway looks amazing. Thank you. Wait, just this just in. Breaking news with Zola. This just came in. There's another big bad wolf trying to attack. Let's go to Maya on the corner of Bacon Drive and Pork Chop Street to see what this is all about. To you, Maya. This is Maya with breaking news. We are here at Bacon Drive and Pork Chop Street. Now let's see what's going on. Again, I'm here with Miss McNutt. So, can you tell me how the uh, little tiny pigs are preparing for the wolf? Oh my goodness, the wolf has been so scary. He's, uh, we've heard he's been blowing houses down. So let's talk to my friend at the straw house. Hi, Reginald. How have you been preparing for the big bad wolf? What have you put on your house? I put straws. Very different straws. Look at this. This looks awesome. Thank you so much. We're going to see if those straws hopefully hold up to the big bad wolf. Okay. You'll see them there. Yes. We're going to head on over to the stick house. Okay. Watch out for the wolf. I don't know. Let's see. Mr. Hayden, how are you preparing with the stick house? I've been putting tons of sticks on it and and put you know making it really strong. That is a great idea. Have you been hammering these things away? <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, hopefully it holds up to the big bad wolf. Hopefully. Let's go on to the brick house. Make sure the wolf's not there. Okay. Hello. Oh, we've got roommates at this house. Hi, girls. Hi. What about this brick house? How are y'all ready for the wolf to come? Well, we put in tons of bricks brick and oh, and we always lock the door all the time. That's so. perfect, locking the door. Briasia, did you put the, the shutters up on the window back there so he can't get in through the glass? That looks like a sturdy house. We might need to stay in this house when the wolf comes. So, thank you so much for coming, and you I hope you so don't see him. I hope I don't either. <laughs> attention viewers! Attention viewers! We, we have found, found the wolf! So, as you can see, Santa Elementary is very busy. From WSES, I'm Zyla. I'm Saxton. And I'm Maya. Have a good day, and yeah. go Tigers! Go ahead. Hello, I'm in Miss Parker's room with Miss Parker. Hello, so, Connor. How are you? You missed up my name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I've taught all of his, all of his siblings. There's four of them in my defense. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Wait. Just the sin. This just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have your flippers. <laughs> So as you can see, Satella Elementary is very busy. From SES, I'm Zala. I'm Saxton. And I'm Maya. And get... Can we read it out? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Go ahead. Okay.